Oh, hi everyone. I hope you can hear me. I hope you can see me. And if you can't, this is going to be a really boring half hour. Let's get started. If, uh, if you have my text, if you have my phone number, and you want to text me and let me know that this is working, this is the first time I've gone live from my Facebook profile, uh, if it's not working, please text me and let me know. Uh, otherwise, we're going to start.
to people if you've got any requests, let me know and I'll uh, uh, try and see if I can play them for you. And, and I'll still do that. If you text me before the end of the half hour, maybe I'll, I'll see if I can play something for you. Um, my friend Lisa Holtz, who is a phenomenal singer and a very good friend, uh, she requested a piece of music um, that in fact in its entirety is about 40 minutes long. Uh, I'm not going to play all 40 minutes of this piece of music. Uh, it is a piece written by Rachmaninoff in 1934, uh, a, a set of variations on a theme of Paganini, you know. Uh, a lot of people have written variations on that music, and Rachmaninoff has done some of the most beautiful variations on that theme uh, ever written. Um, the most well-known one, I think, especially as a piano player, is variation number 18, uh, which goes like this. This is the 18th variation on a theme of Paganini by Rachmaninoff. Phantom of the Opera, 
and Lloyd Webber wrote Phantom of the Opera in 1986, and then uh, back in 2010, I believe it was, wrote a sequel to Phantom of the Opera, even though he'd said in an interview, uh, I'm never going to have another hit like Phantom of the Opera, which was incredibly humble. <clears throat> but he wrote uh, a, a, a musical called Love Never Dies. And uh, Alina had asked for either All I Ask of You from Phantom of the Opera or Love Never Dies. And so I, I figured maybe a mashup of the two. Uh, given that Love Never Dies is the sequel, the, the harmonic and musical language is surprisingly the same, very similar for, for, for both musicals. So this is kind of a mashup of Love Never Dies and All I Ask of You.
I um, I'm gonna check my phone and see if anybody texted in any requests because I have things to play. But if there's something better, you don't. Nope, no requests. Great. I'm gonna carry on with what I was gonna play. Uh, actually, I'm gonna play a piece of music. Uh, people have asked me, what is your favorite piece of music? What is your favorite thing to play on the piano? My favorite thing to play on the piano is not necessarily the same thing. Uh, my my favorite thing to listen to being played on the piano. Um, my favorite piece of piano music, it, it's between three, and one of those pieces is uh, Debussy's Claire de Lune. And um, there are so many people out there who play it so much better than I do, I would rather listen to it than play it. However, uh, I would like to share it with you because um, it's, it's just a gorgeous piece of writing. I, I don't know why I love it. I learned it at a, young, at a young age. I will answer two questions though. First of all, uh, the answer to your first question is yes. This piano is horribly out of tune. Um, and at a time like this, it's really hard to get someone to come by and spend an hour, two hours in, in my house to tune my piano um, at six feet. So uh, it, it's close enough, it's gonna have to do. Um, <clears throat> second, uh, second question, why, why am I using music? You never see me use sheet music whenever I perform. Well, the reality is, I have about 20,000 pieces of music in my head, of which I know about three in their entirety. I, I, I learn a piece of music, and then I instantly forget it because I learn the next piece of music. So I tend to learn as I go along for concerts. And I, when I pulled some of these out, these are pieces that I've played from memory in the past, but I couldn't remember a thing about them. So uh, I am cheating, and I am using the music because I don't want to make a mess. Um, but this is, uh, this is Debussy's Claire de Lune.
being healthcare personnel, if you are. Um, thank you for Joshua Bickery for organising this. Um, I'm going to finish with a little bit of Harry Potter.
about to take my welcome. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for keeping arts alive, even if it's online. Uh, and, and thank you for um, everything you do to support Central Florida Community Arts. Uh, tune back in again tomorrow night. There will be somebody else, not here, but, but there. Uh, thank you. Please take care of each other. You're all very special. And um, I love you. Thanks.